China is real zoom. Well, I don't know if China is going to buy us all because what the Western world is doing, the, the mistake that we are making or our so-called leaders are making, and it's not a mistake, it's by design because we're going complete fascism because remember, we're governed by Nazis and Zionists, right? That should not be a surprise to anyone by now, by this point, if you've looked at stuff, right? So they want to build up an iron curtain in the Western world and we're on the wrong side. We're going to be ruled over by Nazis and Zionists. And it's going to be concentration camps and purge and serious economic devastation with brown shirts walking around and pulling people out of there if we allow them, right? But what these idiots in the Western world have been trying to do is to say that we need to compete with China and Russia and India in terms of manufacturing and stuff like this and the so-called leaders in the western world they're eliminating taking away what really made the west attractive which was freedom of speech freedom of movement freedom of thought freedom of life freedom of choice freedom right what china china doesn't offer freedom right that's one thing we have to keep in mind right you step out of line in china you're going to get effed over. That didn't used to be the case in the Western world, but it is now. You step out of line in Canada, they freeze your bank accounts. They prevent you from paying your rent, paying your mortgage. They prevent you from buying food. They prevent you from traveling. They prevent you from providing for your family, right? So Canada that used to offer freedom does not offer freedom anymore right so it's complete totalitarianism complete centralized control complete tyranny some people would say china is the same but china offers economic growth canada does not canada doesn't offer shit in terms of economic uh, stability or economic well-being right same with the united states same with europe so we lost all of our appeal right all of our appeal Okay, perps on censor too. I don't think we're heading towards fascism. I think we are heading, if we haven't already, towards socialism. Uh, not it's not socialism because it's not government. Uh, we're already in so like Canada's a socialist country, right? But it's not socialist anymore. It's fascism, totalitarianism, uh, an oligarchy, kleptocracy, technocracy, whatever you want to call it is complete control of a nation by corporate entities in line with government. And the classical definition of fascism is exactly that, corporate control of government for the benefit of the multinational corporations, which is what we're seeing in Canada, what we're seeing in the United States. Canada has been a socialist country, socialist nation for decades. Same with most of Europe, right? But now they're going into complete totalitarianism, right? Complete totalitarianism, right? Um, 